Happy birthday. Masque arms. <laughs> I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sure I did. Okay, let's see. A lot of two drops. Since I have early drops, I'm going to get rid of the portal because uh, against priests, I think I just want to run them over. I don't even think it's good to keep both mad scientists, especially with the duplicate potential. I'm going to keep like this. That's kind of weird normally, but I'm trying to get the, the flame cannons and frost bolts and arcane blast. It's really important for me to be able to win the early game against priests if I have early game hand like this. So I tried to mulligan for some, some of the spells. I want to be able to beat Norshar Cleric openings and Wormrest Agent openings. Okay, hmm. Yeah, Shredder's not that good against Dragon Priest. Let's just go ahead and try to at least run him over somehow. We can just play Sorcerer Apprentice here. And then if he plays Wormrest, just ping in and trade. Doesn't seem amazing, but if I just go play slow Worm uh, Pallid Shredder on turn 3 while saving the coin, if he's a Dragon Priest, he has kind of like a perfect counter naturally in Twilight Guardian, so... I'm gonna go ahead and trade. I don't want to open myself up to Velen's Chosen and Powered Shield, so... Thoughts on Warsong? Yeah, I mean, I've obviously been wanting them to nerf Patron for a while. Uh, I did start playing the deck kind of recently, but I still definitely don't mind. I mean, Patron, even if it's not... No, I think it was the strongest deck, but it wasn't the strongest deck at most levels of play. And, um... <clears throat> so it wasn't the strongest deck at all levels of play, but... It's definitely bad for the game, just what the deck does, you know, not very interactive and very easy to OTK people. I kind of play this duplicate, I don't really expect my Mad Scientist to die against Priest, but it's certainly possible that it dies. I'm just trading, I'm playing on just, just trading the Mad Scientist into his minion next turn. Alright. I'm mostly expecting if he didn't kill my Mad Scientist on turn three, and Priest generally won't, won't, wouldn't be killing it. But I guess I don't I don't really get a good trade in because I don't get the suicide of the Mad Scientist, and now it's kind of vulnerable to duplicate. I'm just gonna have to take that duplicate most of the time. So yeah, patron or did provide a did provide a counter to some of the most popular decks. Like King Mukla? I'll probably play this with the Arcane Blast. It provides another 5 health minion if you place Akunai Circle, since now there's two 5 health minions. Kind of weak to Light Bomb still. Since Akunai itself has 5 health. Wait, did he just play a Mad Oh, from Thought Steel. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? How does he have Mad Scientist and Priest? This is, uh, this is Tempo Mage. Coin, thanks for resubbing for three months. Crowfist. I think Control Warrior will definitely suffer post patch. It's mostly because Control Warrior was a counter to Patron, so if Patron's gone, there's one less deck. And also, a lot of the Control Warrior is like really weak to things like Secret Paladin or any Paladin. A lot of the. Yeah, I was like. How do I explain it? How much damage do I have? Six, seven. Just gonna clear and.
Yeah, like Patriot Warrior is definitely keeping some of the decks down that counter control were. So it's definitely gonna be some changes to the meta game. It's good for me. Not one of the cards I'm scared of. It's kind of scary with Power Mancer all game, especially since I give him some bananas and also Alkani Circle or Light Bomb. Seems like he doesn't have any of those. Just had a lot of combo cards with this Holy Champion. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen damage. Okay, so I don't have enough damage for a lethal. I can probably draw a card here first. I don't get to play Dr. Boom, but I probably want to attack the Holy Champion and ping. Yeah, I like playing this anyways. Even though I don't get to develop Dr. Boom. Flying Kirby, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. They're kind of just deleting War Song in a way, not really nerfing it, but you know, that's just what it is. I know the card is pretty bad for the design of the game. You know, it's caused a lot of trouble before. Bef like, War Song's been nerfed many times, or at least two times, but pretty much whenever War Song was used in a competitive deck, it was, it was very cancerous. It was basically just to one, tur one turn kill people. So, like the old War Song plus. Molten Giant plus Panda deck. I mean, since they already like changed the card in a way, I guess like I feel like they could have at least just buffed up the stat line a little bit. <clears throat> like they could have made it maybe like a three three or three four even two four. Any one of those probably would have been fine. Welcome to the grand tournament. Okay, so let's count start counting for lethal here. I have a four wait, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alright, my mind is just blank. I don't think I have lethal. Unless I have boom bots. That should do it. So yeah, I need just like one or one or two. I, I think I need like a two or three damage boom bot. This is kind of a mulligan for handlock, but <clears throat> handlock's more common. I decided to keep this unstable portal because, um, like against handlock, since like they're tapping early, if you can get a portal out, like it allows you to kind of keep up. Like especially if you get something high in mana, it's like ramp. It's so it's like sometime a ramp spell. I feel like I'm kind of opening myself up to. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hellfire, definitely. Hopefully, I get some stuff that's not weak to Hellfire. Nice. Wow. Another AI. Alright. Hopefully, my units don't die here. I can AI for one. Okay. Still at least have the Silent Knight. Okay, so now I have this Archmage Antonidas. Uh, I do have a lot of burn in my hand, but I guess Missile is not really reliable. We need to think of either to try to rush him down or to try to play this game towards the late game for Archmage Antonidas. But it's too hard for us to trade. Like, if we just trade full 2 for Beyond Tempo, if a lot of demons come out, almost anything. Alright, let's start by AIing. 
Actually, Portal first is better. I was thinking AI into Scientist, but I, I think it's actually better to play Portal. This allows me to play any minion below 6 mana. Alright, I think I'm going to have to kill this now. So looks like he doesn't have another demon. Although I could just rush him down. I could also trade the Void Caller. I don't think he has another demon with the way he played. Like I think he would taunt it otherwise. But losing 5 face damage might just be too much. Oh, his last card was the demon. I'm helping I'll beat him out, like grind him out, just because of all these flame wakers still. So we can do double flame waker, frostbolt. That'll be four missiles. I mean, he doesn't have that many cards either. Seems like he's scared of tapping now too. Yeah, let's do that. We still arch range frostbolt or arch range missiles next turn. I do need to play defensively a little bit as well, because I'm pretty low if I leave up doom guard. Okay, this is interesting. There's almost no way I'd die. I could just go for our trench missiles for next turn Frostbolt. I could also do Drake missiles. That'll give me a ping as well. So Drake missiles does four here, five, six, seven damage, eight, nine if you count the Flame Waker. But if I don't get the Fireball and this absorbs a lot of it, yeah, it's not that good. I think just our trench missiles. I don't want to get big game hundred if I play Dr. Boom. I might be on a clock here as well, so if I take one big tempo swing like a big game hunter, I could lose the race. That was a mistake. At least he has a trade. Should be good against Druid as well. Let the games begin. Are you gonna play Pirates again and make them more viable in the upcoming meta? I don't think I'll. I don't know actually. I might play it some. It was mostly I think I ran really good when I was playing Pirates. I guess I'm just gonna play this. It allows me to deal with Aspirant. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> rain ad. PJ Salt. I didn't really need to save coin for anything with this hand. I had a three and a four drop as well. And sometimes I top deck like a minion that I can play again next turn.
I should be okay here, even against Drew the Claw, which is probably the worst thing that can happen to me. Because if he charges this, I can, in trades here, I can trade in Flame Cannon or something to clear the board. Or ping in Flame Cannon. This is interesting. I think I want to get the mirror entity out, so I'm gonna kind of yellow this in a way. I feel like I should be able to get him though. <clears throat> it's like really unlikely anything survives from that, and I get a mirror entity. I'll change it after this game. I'm gonna cast this before playing Duplicator AI, just because I need to get the pings ready. I don't need card draw right now, I'd rather delve another secret. And with that RNG, the only bad outcome is one. If it's zero, like two to face, I can just go for it. Just, just think about how hard, like, how you can make that kind of play. I think that's like, <laughs> like impossible. Yeah, you have to put someone on like an archmage, plus a flame cannon, right? If it's like exactly because if it's a frostbolt archmage, you just die. If it's a fireball, you die. So the secret. Okay, so he's really trying to protect his knife juggler. I'd say one of them is if it's noble sack and avenge, we can play flame cannon here and then attack after. Even if it's a redemption, there's no reason for me to attack first. Oh wait, wait, wait. Noble sack, avenge. If I attack first, I think I've already made up my mind to play flame cannon. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm attacking first. Especially since against a muster for battle, even though I take an extra ping damage, it doesn't matter because muster kills my mana room anyways. This way, if it is Noble Sack Avenge, I get to kill the Avenge secret as well. If I Flame Cannon first, then attack, there's no chance that if it's Noble Sack Avenge, it kills my mana worm. But I would just have a 1 health mana worm anyways against turn 3, maybe muster anyways. So this way, I just get an extra Avenge secret down, and sometimes I don't lose my mana worm. It's just fifty percent chance. I, I I don't like the flame waker move. It's more on curve, but that that would not kill a knife juggler, and then he can have a potential knife juggler into muster. Probably go bad for me. <laughs> I lose that, or lose pretty much everything to the knife juggler muster if he had it. Gonna just frostbolt here. It wasn't that bad to play 
Flame Waker, but I really get punished by Blessing of Kings. So if I play Flame Waker, or maybe another secret, he had a 3-4 last turn. If I played Flame Waker next turn, I can Flame Waker and play the second Frostbolt. I'm assuming my first Flame Waker will die, but it's pretty risky. Especially to Blessing of Kings, but even it's just one more secret. I'm gonna have to kill this, even if it is Avenge. I can't afford to play AI, because if he has Blessing Kings, I can't even fireball this guy. And I have to play for tempo at this point. Let me think. The pain will. Thanks for resubbing 12 months. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. This could be a very hard game against Mysterious Challenger. Since I have a 7 drop, I don't really need to keep this Flamaker alive. Hopefully, just clear out some of this stuff here. Okay, so I only got three secrets. I know there's no Avenge, because two Avengers have procced already. Probably a second Noble Sack, Competitive Spirit, and the other one is either Redemption or Repentance. And knowing all that, it's actually correct to just Fireball here. Because there's no Avenge, and there's for sure there is Competitive Spirit, so I do need to clear as much as possible. So no Redemption, so this is uh, Repentance and Noble Sack. Like I really do want to play Boom, it'll go to 7-1 though. My hand is too slow at this point. I have no more Flame Wakers either. If I want to clear this, it has to be through things like Arcane Blast and Missiles. I'm going to have to get something lucky, actually. I thought this deck was supposed to do better against Secret Paladin. I have to get a bigger sample size. I'm gonna go for minions again. As good as Flame Cannon is, I need to use it to push tempo and have minions already on board. Doomsayer? <laughs> Would it be enough? Uh, I, I guess. Maybe not, but Doomsayer last game. It would have been good. He would sub Ashbringer, so. If I was really playing around Doomsayer, maybe it's better to Arcane Blast. And then ping the Shredder and then save the Frostbolt to Frostbolt face. Oh. 
Okay, so I can Fireball and trade in. Or I could Frostbolt trade in and redevelop my Mad Scientist. The difference there is that I get my Mirror Entity down. Going to turn 6 is not that important to get Mirror Entity down. And the Frostbolts are better for later. Since they're cheaper and I can combo them easier with Flame Licker. Board ends up slightly better for me this way. I might get a duplicate as well, so yeah, I think this is better. Because other way, I would have a 2-2 Mad Scientist, but he would also have a minion on board, the slime. It's actually pretty decent, just a Boulder Fist Ogre, I guess. Well, it's three mana, but that's from Portal. It's the same thing as Boulder Fist Ogre. I know he's running Ramp, right? So Ancient of War. I didn't think this could happen, Nourish, turn six. I thought something would happen where my scientist would die. He either plays a minion or removes it. I didn't think he would have Nourish. It's kind of unfortunate, but at least if he plays Ancient of War, he doesn't kill Flame Waker. All right, let me see what secret I get first. Oh, I, I'm going to get a duplicate for sure, huh? He drew a lot of cards. I don't even like... Yeah, let's let's do this. I like this the best. I don't want to play both tickets together. Because every turn he has a test for Mirror MT already. So when, like, if I play both together, he can play a small minion to test... And then he'll know once I play. So like, say he plays a small minion this turn, then I play Mirror next turn. He might not have another one, and it takes more tests. That's the reason why you don't play two secrets in one turn sometimes. He decided to kill that. I think maybe play around Effigy, or he has a second Wrath. Alright, I'm kind of confused. Uh, maybe Effigy is too scary as a 7, but I can just trade here now. I was thinking of double Flame Worker Blast, but that's pretty yellow. I, I might not kill the Ancient War and then I get punished hard, so it's, it's kind of easy to just trade and play Dr. Bum. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have some crazy turns soon with double flame waker and spells. I've got the beast in my side. I like this a lot. Oh, I can't play mirror entity still if I play that. All right, I'm just gonna play blast and then probably mad scientist and not play the sorcerer apprentice next turn i can play double flame waker sorcerer apprentice and then frostbolt i thought i had another spell i guess i used my arcane blast The more I think about this, I don't think I should develop so many of these flame wickers in one turn. Although I guess it works out fine, but it's looking like it would be better to have played the mirror into last turn. Right, I'm just gonna cancel the spells. I'm running pretty bad on these flame wakers, just not really able to get any of the useful pings. Yeah, it didn't make sense. I didn't need all the pings last turn. 
I needed to develop Marin Titty last turn, even though I got more value from Marin Titty because I played both Flamewakers with Marin Titty up. I lost a, a lot of tempo by not having the Entity down already. He's already used a lot of spells, like Double Swipe, Double Wrath. I'm actually very scared of combo still, since combo's a way where he doesn't have to proc secrets. Although, uh, last time I played him, he had combo. Oh. Matter Bomber, it's not a bad one. Only has five cards left, but I'm almost out of my own stuff. I don't have a read on what his last cards are, actually. It could be something like Chromagus. Looking at this list probably has Emperor. I'm not sure what Chromagus. Sometimes when I see Nourish, I think Chromagus and Emperor, because it's kind of like a nice combo, but... I have no time for games. The end is coming! It's kind of weird. He's trying to buy initiative or something. Okay, so I can hit him down to, uh, <laughs> let me think about this for a second. I can hit him down to five, or do five damage. I can also kill him if I flame cannon this down. Wait, wait, wait this is six? Okay, I, I don't even kill him if I get that guy down. I'm gonna play kind of a control game because I still have a fireball in my deck, so this flame can can maybe keep me alive. It's actually really unlikely because not only do I not kill, like it's 25% chance to get that guy, but I don't even have lethal if I if I kill it. I was still off even if I killed it. Just kind of play the control game here until I get my fireball. I'm almost out of just gonna play him. I don't really know why. Maybe Ragnaros. <laughs> I mean, it's just not really useful to like, keep him in my hand. So I need to kill like last turn with the flame cat. I need to kill the taunt, and then I also need the some of the things to hit face, like one of the missiles, random, so... Six, seven, eight. Actually, die here to half of the Ysera cards. Although, Ysera awakens the tie. I died in Nightmare. Oh, I died that too. 